Okay, so here in this question, it says use the recursion formula 3, 4, and if needed, equation 3, 2 to simplify the following. I think I have done this question before in one of the videos, but it, the, the, the audio may have been corrupt, so I figured I would go ahead and not just do it, but explain it and post it so people who didn't get the chance can uh, actually listen to it. Uh, it's actually a simple question, so I'm doing number 4, which I wrote right here. Um, and uh, okay so uh, this is a very simple question so I'm using recursion formula 3 4 which is this formula right here uh, gamma of p plus 1 is uh, p gamma of p so 12 over fifth I could break it down into the trick is to just put it in terms of 1 plus whatever fraction that's remaining in this case 1 plus 7 fifths and according to formula 3 4 this just becomes uh, 7 fifths uh, gamma function of 7 fifths and uh, gamma function of 7 fifths I would repeat the same thing again and break it into 1 plus the remaining fraction which is 2 fifths so according to recursion formula this becomes 2 fifths gamma 2 fifths and now I just plug in into the original question so gamma 2 fifths is just gamma 2 fifths and gamma 12 fifths became uh, five, 7 over 5 times gamma 7 over 5 and gamma 7 over 5 is just 7 over 5 times 2 over 5 times gamma 2 fifths and now it's convenient to just cancel out gamma 2 fifths with gamma 2 fifths because they're the same so I don't have to really use equation 3 2 and evaluate them uh, they just go away and I'm just left with the fraction 1 over 7 fifths times 2 fifths which is 25 over 15 25 over 14 and so that concludes this question <clears throat>